I got I got a few emotions going here. I got to doc, document something. I think a, I think a personal piece is what she called this. How do my eyes look though? How do my eyes look? I was I was high last night, high the night before, and now I'm hurting because my highness caused me to not sleep, and now I'm sleep deprived. Now let me explain the natural high. My cousin Mira. Now, my cousin Mira's been through a lot. She lost her uncle over a decade ago. She lost her grandfather within a couple of years. She lost her father within about a year and a half. She's going in to high school. Her hair goes from blonde to brown. Her older brother moves out. Her middle brother moves out. The house that she grew up in that was male-dominated for 14 years of her life now has no males and only two females. And things are changing fast, right? The guys are looking at her different. The girls are looking at her different. It's 2023. You understand these things. Oh, and did I mention? She decides she's going to join the wrestling team. Okay. Now... She's from a family of wrestlers. Her father was a great wrestler. As a matter of fact, there's only five men to ever beat Kerry Colott in the NCAA ranks. Her father was one of them. So her going out for wrestling, though unspoken, is a tribute of some sort to her now late father. Point B. When you're in my shoes, okay, because I fit into this somewhere. Where do you think I fit into this? You got, you got mother's going to oversee the whole thing, and then you got, you got Uncle Sid, you got Uncle Ty, but eventually on the totem pole is going to come Chael. And I, I've seen this movie a hundred times. I've got one role for my apparently heavy driven badass cousin, and that role will be to console her when she gets her ass kicked time and time again. Like, she could end up in the girls' ranks. And don't forget, this is Washington State. Washington State is is a heavily contested state, a very respected state for women's wrestling. So she could end up with around 22, 25, that might be a little heavy, matches for the season. Of those 22 to 25 matches, she could very realistically win zero of them, very realistically. This is a highly contested weight class, for one, in a state that's highly contested of a sport that she doesn't know how to do, not to mention, isn't she dealing with, like, emotional stuff? I mean, aren't you, aren't you like, sad, and, and and that makes you weaker, it doesn't make you stronger, and, I mean, there's like, there's, like, all of these obvious things that are happening. Oh, should I mention for you, I see her on Christmas Day. And Christmas Day is exactly halfway through the wrestling season. You start about six weeks before that, and you'll have about six weeks on the backside of that. You're right in the middle. When I see her on Christmas Day, she comes hobbling in because she did, it was like a bursta. I get confused with the knee, but it, it, there was a bursta issue or there, there was a cartilage issue. And so, I mean, she's living the life. She's living the life of a wrestler, right? This is, this, this is what she signed up for. But this isn't going to go away. It, it's going the way that it should go, in all fairness, right? Okay, well, time out, time out. Last week. Now, where I'm from, we call it districts, and that just means the tournament that qualifies you for state. That's, a, that's an Oregon term. In the state of Washington, they call it regionals. But it's the tournament that qualifies you. They, they'll take the top three from regionals, and then that pushes you on to state. They've got a few regions or, uh, you know, around the state of Washington, and there you go. She comes in third, she qualifies. Now, that, that is a major point of celebration for our family. That was not likely to happen. But she made it out of the districts. Now, she gets to go to state. They're going to put that in the dome. I mean, th- 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 this is a big deal, right? You're, you're going to Tacoma. You're, you're talking about now hotels. You're talking about a whole bunch of eyeballs on you. You're talking about the Delacram, and she qualifies to do that. Okay, well, time out. She finds herself in a placing match. All of a sudden, the girl that didn't even wrestle, that hobbled in to Christmas because she had a bum knee, that we don't know how she, I mean, 
It's hard to do. It's hard to make it to state your your first year. She's in a placing match. Oh, by the way, should I mention she won? So now she's the state place winner. Out of nowhere. Okay. And we're done. We we're done. I, I don't sleep that night. I'm I'm everybody I can think to reach out to. And then we got this this big family thing going. Um I'm trying to wait up to have a minute to talk to her, right? I want to sell. I want to celebrate this. And now I got. I got to hear her actual voice. She got a million friends pulling at her. The next morning she wakes up. She wins in the morning by fall. She wins in the afternoon by fall. She wins in the evening by fall. Three girls, three matches, three pins. My cousin is a bronze medalist in the state championship. 